Lake Cumberland's Power Country, K93. Good morning, I'm Rod Bubba, and on the phone from Restless Heart, Mr. Larry Stewart. How's it going, Larry? Great. Good morning, Rod. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so wonderful to, to finally meet you and talk to you and get everybody excited about this big concert coming up Saturday at Rimfro Valley. Well, yeah, we're, we're coming back and coming back to my home state. So I'm really looking forward to coming back up there. That's a that's a neat little place. And, yeah. Um, so looking forward to it. We play your songs all the time, and it's been a, a true pleasure to be able to honestly say that I can remember when Bluest Eyes of Texas, When She Cries, Wheels, I'll Still Be Loving You, New York Hold Her Tight, Why Does It Have to Be Wrong or Right. I played these when they were currents. <laughs> oh, wow. And I'm playing them now. I've been here since 85, and it's been wonderful seeing your music never leave our playlist wow thank you very much well i'll tell you what what's amazing is we are celebrating our 27th year yeah the original five guys just really having a, about as much fun as we could ever have exactly and that is so unique uh, anymore because first of all you're all blessed to be obviously in good enough health to still be with us and second of all you guys getting along well enough to keep things together well, yeah you know we we've <laughs> We've come a long way, not without bumps in the road. Absolutely. And, but um, we just all really feel lucky and blessed to, to think that we that our music can we still get out there on the road. And, mm-hmm. and It's still fun. Still want to hear it, yeah. You know? That's, and, that's uh, wonderful. You've come a long way from uh, being a stock clerk at the Country Music Hall of Fame, huh? <laughs> Haven't I though? <laughs> I sure have. Well, is that it was a long time ago? After all these years, do you still get uh, you know the first song or two? You still have to work through the jitters, or is it just uh, natural now? Uh, yeah, I think before just about anybody before they hit the stage, there's a little bit of an anxiety. You know, yeah. I don't. I but it's a good good thing. Nervous, but yeah. It's really good because you're excited to get out there and you want to put a great show on for the folks and yeah you know so yeah yeah when you when you hit the stage the stage is such a cool thing to do oh yeah you make a living getting on stage and making people smile or cry yeah. or bring back memories that's you know the important gig you can't find it in a bottle or a pill that's for sure <laughs> that's right now uh tell me about what it's like to uh play the grand Ole opry stage now i'd say you, you know all stages are wonderful and uh, anytime you got an audience that's uh soaking it up and giving it back it's great but i in my mind the opry's just got to be right up there now there is a place where you can get a little nervous <laughs> a lot of history yeah, a lot of history there you know and so many artists and and then you know people are you know usually a full house and uh-huh. then, you know what you do is right. especially for a band is you just go and plug in uh-huh. and and go boom boom okay it's on yeah and you just and you play i mean right. no sound check you just go on and and during the commercial <laughs> <laughs> and you're ready to go. 